Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, it's time to start uh, our workshop. Uh, uh, this is Zheng Hualing from University of Science Technology of China. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, welcome all of you to attend this workshop on behalf of the organizing committee of this challenge. The other organizers of the challenge, including Xiao Zhou, my student, and Professor Simon King from University of Edinburgh. So uh, before the main program of the workshop, I'd like to give a, a brief uh, introduction to the background of this workshop. So this workshop is for the 17th edition of the Breather Challenge. Uh, Breather Challenge, as most of you have been familiar with, it is an annual challenge to compare corpus-based sphere synthesis on uh, common data sets. And the first challenge was held in 2005. The aim of the challenge uh, is, uh, the aim of the workshop are to present the results from the listening test and for participants uh, to describe their systems. So this year we have uh, uh, received 23 team registrations, uh, 14 of them finally submitted synthetic results, and we have received 14 paper submissions, including one summary paper and 13 uh, team description papers. All papers were accepted to the workshop after review and revision. Now all these papers are online, you can find them on the FastWorks uh, web page. Uh, this workshop is free and open to all who are interested in speed synthesis. We have a, a total of 98 registered participants just before the workshop start. Okay, this is the program of this workshop. Uh, uh, after the summary presentation of the challenge, we will have three uh, sessions for system presentations. And uh, each session contains four or five papers. Uh, we have live oral presentations for all accepted papers and the duration of each presentation is expected to be 12 minutes, including two minutes QA. Between every two sessions, we will have a short break. And uh, uh, if you have any additional question, you can still use this uh, time slots for asking questions. Uh, regarding with how to ask questions, we prefer you to type your question in the uh, QA box on the uh, bottom menu or the uh, on the bottom menu of the Zoom interface. You can find a QA button. You can type your question into the uh, open field. If, if writing question is not easy, you may write, I want to ask a question verbal instead. We have noticed that for the panelists, maybe you cannot use the QA button. You can also enter your question using the, the, the chat box. There is a chat button. So these questions will be moderated by the chair. If your question is written in the text, uh, the chair will explain to the presenter. If you want to ask question verbally, the host will enable your microphone. Uh, in case there is no sufficient time to answer all of the questions, presenters uh, should answer the remaining questions uh, in the QA tab uh, after the, uh, their presentations. OK. Uh, then I will give some uh, summary introductions to the Blizzard Challenge 2021, uh, including the tasks, participants, listening tests, and the results of the challenge. Uh, this challenge is the 17th annual Blizzard Challenge, and the first one was held in 2005. In previous Blizzard Challenges, we have studied uh, so, uh, some languages besides English, such as Mandarin Chinese and several Indian languages. For the first time, a uh, non-English uh, European language, uh, which is European Spanish, has been used for the Blizzard Challenge. We have designed two tasks. One is to synthesize text containing only Spanish words. Another is a spoke task, which is to uh, synthesize Spanish text containing a small number of English words in each sentence. Uh, all evaluations were conducted online. Uh, we have uh, listeners uh, from prolific crowdsourcing platform and uh, volunteers. One exciting result of this challenge is that the top system in the hub task achieved comparable naturalness with natural reference speech. And its similarity was even better than the natural reference, which I will explain later. Uh, so Spanish is the second language with most first language speakers in the world. Uh, this year, we used a European Spanish data set, thanks to iFatech for providing this data set. The texts are from various domains, including dialogue, custom service, daily life, traveling, and the speakers was a professional female native European Spanish speaker. The total duration was about 9.5 hours. After removing silence, the duration was about five hours. The summary rate was 48 kilohertz. 
text transcriptions were provided together with audio files. Uh, the hub task is to build a voice from the provided European Spanish data to synthesize text containing only uh, Spanish words. Uh, we prepared a test set of 1,310 utterances. Uh, there are 510 sentences for naturalists and speaker similarity evaluation and 800 sentences for intelligibility evaluation. 700 sentences in the intelligibility evaluation are from the Shavard Corpus, which is a phonetically based Spanish sentence dataset designed for intelligibility texting. And another 100 SUS sentences kindly generated by TLP UPC and Echolab EHU. Uh, thanks a lot for your uh, contribution to this challenge. And for the spoke task, uh, it is to build a voice from the provided European Spanish data to synthesize Spanish text containing a small number of English words in each sentence. The task definition did not specify how the English words should be pronounced, uh, such as whether it should be British English or North American English, fully or partially nativized to Spanish. All these are decided by the teams. We provided 10 natural recordings of the sentences with English words uh, as development data for better understanding the task. Uh, we prepared a test set of 224 utterances. For most of the sentences, the number of English words uh, was less than five. The rules this year follow the rules of previous challenges. Uh, we put a limitation on the amount of external audio data, which means each participant must use no more than 100 hours of audio for each task, including the uh, provided uh, data. Uh, we uh, also provided two options for the team to choose on how to use the external audio data. Option A is that uh, the team can use can only use freely available external data and report the exact data being used. The option B that uh, they can use any data, whether freely available or not. So whether or not that which, or no matter which option they choose, uh, all the systems are uh, evaluated together, but we can make some analysis separately. <clears throat> uh, we have three, 23 red teams this year and uh, 14 teams finally submitted the synthetic results. Uh, 12 teams submitted half test results, including six academic teams and six industry teams. 10 teams submitted spoke task results, including seven academic teams and uh, three industry uh, teams. Uh, uh, following previous challenges, all systems are identified using anonymous letters, and the letter R was used for natural uh, speech this year. We didn't build benchmark system this year, considering the rapid development of speech synthesis techniques. Okay, so this slide shows the main techniques and the external audio data used by uh, each team. Uh, we can see that all teams follow the uh, neural network-based statistical parametric speech synthesis uh, framework this year. Uh, for acoustic model, uh, most of them use sequence sequence models. We can see that nine of the all 14 teams choose Tegatron for fast speech based uh, acoustic model. Uh, regarding with the vocoder, we can see that all teams use neural vocoders, and 10 of all 14 teams using um, GAN based vocoders, such as male GAN, hybrid GAN, and the parallel wave GAN. Regarding with the external audio data, for the hub task, only two teams choose option, option B, which means they use some internal data that are not publicly available. Uh, for the uh, uh, spoke task, uh, we can say only one team choose option B. They use some proprietary English data for building their systems. Okay. Uh, just like previous challenges, we have three types of listeners. Uh, the paid listeners were recruited through the prolific crowdsourcing platform. They were all self-certified native speakers of Spanish. For this speaker, for, for these listeners, all instructions and other text on the listening test web pages were in Spanish. Uh, another two types of listeners, including the speech experts and the volunteers, they were recruited through uh, participating teams and the mailing list. For these two types of listeners, all text on the listening test web pages was in English. Uh, in our formal listening test, only a subset of the completed test set was used. Uh, for the hub task, we have six uh, sessions in the test, and each section contains 13 or 12 samples. Uh, we can see that we have two similarity uh, sections and two naturalist sections, uh, and uh, 
one intelligibility section for shoved sentence and one intelligibility section for SUS sentence. It should be noticed that we didn't have the natural recordings of the training set speaker for the shoved sentences. So we use the natural recording of the female voice from shoved corpus at the reference system R in section five. In section six, we didn't use, uh, uh, didn't include system R because we didn't have any natural recording of these SUS sentences. Uh, uh, for the spoken task, we also have six sections in the listening test, and each section contains 11 samples. Uh, one section for, for similarity, two sections for naturalness, and the other three sessions are for the accept acceptability of English words. This is a new metric we designed for this, the challenges this year. Uh, the text in the box showed the instructions we provide to the listeners when they doing the listening test. We ask them to choose a, a score from one to five to reflect how they feel about the acceptability of the English words in the sentence. We ask them not to judge the grammar or content of the sentence or the quality of uh, uh, Spanish words, just to focus on the English words. Uh, this table shows the listening test completion rates. The overall completion rates was about 80%. And in, uh, in the final list of results, we uh, use the, uh, the ratings from 313 uh, task, uh, half-task uh, half -task listeners and 176 uh, spoke task listeners. Okay, let's go to the results of the challenge. Uh, for the uh, half-task, this table shows the box plot of the uh, uh, naturalist mean of his score. Uh, uh, all these systems are ranked in a descending order of their uh, uh, mean opening scores. And this ranking was used in all results for this uh, task when drawing figures. Uh, first, I will play a, a example synthesized by each system, uh, where system R is a natural reference and the other 12 systems are participating teams. Lo que tú me cuentas ocurrió en el año 1970. Lo que tú me cuentas ocurrió en el año 1970. Lo que tú me cuentas ocurrió en el año 1970. Lo que tú me cuentas ocurrió en el año 1970. Lo que tú me cuentas ocurrió en el año 1970. Lo que tú me cuentas ocurrió en el año 1970. Lo que tú me cuentas ocurrió en el año 1970. Lo que tú me cuentas ocurrió en el año 1970. Lo que tú me cuentas ocurrió en el año 1970. Lo que tú me cuentas ocurrió en el año 1970. Lo que tú me cuentas ocurrió en el año 1970. Lo que tú me cuentas ocurrió en el año 1970. Lo que tú me cuentas ocurrió en el año 1970. Okay, uh, according to the significance analysis results, system F uh, was rated as natural at the reference natural speech and uh, achieved a significant better naturalness than all other submissions. And uh, the other system were not as natural as natural speech. Among systems that uh, only used freely available external data, that means they choose option A. So system K, J, and I achieved comparable naturalness and their performance was significantly better than uh, other submitted systems. Uh, for the uh, similarity uh, uh, test results, uh, system F achieved significantly better speaker similarity than all other systems, including uh, natural speech. This is a, a surprising result. We, we did some analysis. We found that there exist style variations in the corpus, uh, but we used two fixed natural utterances as the references for all similarity sections and all listening, all listener groups. So this may degrade the similarity score of the natural reference. And the system I was rated as equal similar to the target speaker at natural recordings. No other systems were rated as similar. For the intelligibility test results, we only reported one from the uh, uh, paid listeners because most of the volunteer and expert listeners uh, were non-native listeners and they uh, most of them cannot finish the dictations uh, of the intelligibility test. So, uh, for the shovel sentences, we can see that uh, the difference between all pairs of systems are insignificant, except that the system A, uh, that is the one with the highest uh, word error rate, uh, is significantly less intelligible than system G and J. 
uh, these two systems achieve the lowest word error rate. For the SUS sentences, uh, we didn't have natural recordings. Uh, the difference between most systems pairs are insignificant, excluding system I, uh, sorry, including, uh, excluding systems L and A. Uh, these two systems have the uh, highest word error rate. Uh, uh, for the uh, spoke task, this figure shows a box plot of the natural listening of the score. I will also play one example of synthetic speech first. Here, system R is the reference natural speech, and another 10 systems are submitting um, are submitted from the participating teams. Entre ellos, destaca Foaming Face Wash, una espuma limpiadora infusionada con semilla de kiwi. Entre ellos destaca Foaming Face Wash, una espuma limpiadora infusionada con semilla de kiwi. Entre ellos destaca Foaming Face Wash, una espuma limpiadora infusionada con semilla de kiwi. Entre ellos destaca Foaming Face Wash, una espuma limpiadora infusionada con semilla de kiwi. Entre ellos destaca Foaming Face Wash, una espuma limpiadora infusionada con semilla de kiwi. Entre ellos destaca Foaming Face Wash, una espuma limpiadora infusionada con semilla de kiwi. Entre ellos destaca Foaming Face Wash, una espuma limpiadora infusionada con semilla de kiwi. Entre ellos destaca Foaming Face Wash, una espuma limpiadora infusionada con semilla de kiwi. Entre ellos destaca Foaming Face Wash, una espuma limpiadora infusionada con semilla de kiwi. Entre ellos destaca Difuamin Facegas, una espuma limpiadora infusionada con semilla de kiwi. Entre ellos destaca Foaming Face Wash, una espuma limpiadora infusionada con semilla de kiwi. Ok, uh, in the naturalist evaluation, no system uh, was as natural as the natural speech, and the system K was rated as significantly more natural than all other submit systems except the system I. Uh, for the similarity uh, evaluation, system K was also rated as similar to the target speaker as natural speech, and uh, it is sig significantly different to all other submitted systems. Uh, for the acceptability of English words, uh, system K and I achieved significantly higher ratings than all other submit systems. However, there was still a uh, a gap between their acceptability ratings and that of natural speech. Unsurprisingly, there, there is a strong correlation uh, between the acceptability scores and the natural scores, and the correlation coefficient is 0 0.96 at the system level in our results. Okay, uh, let's have a summary. This is for the first time that we study a non English European language. We designed two tasks. We uh, have 14 teams submitting results, and we have the uh, listening test results from more than 500 listeners. The top system in the hub task achieved the comparable performance as a natural reference speech. Uh, the synthetic speech and the detailed listening test results has been released. Uh, they can be found at the Belize Change website, and all the workshop papers are also available at the Festbox webpage. Uh, finally, I want to send on behalf of the organic committee, I want to thank a lot of people who helped us with this challenge. And also we want to thank all participants and the listeners. Thank you. And uh, this is uh, the end of uh, the summary uh, introduction to the political challenge. Then we will move to the uh, first uh, system presentation session. And uh, this session will be chaired by Professor Simon King.